Oh, we got beef? I represent the Welcome to Face Conversations. South Carolina delegation, are y'all following up on this? Do y'all know about this story? Because I tried to do a Google search and I couldn't find a news article, a news report. I couldn't find a newspaper report. Nothing covering this at all. And if y'all know anything, y'all know one thing we're not going to play about. We're not going to play about our elderly. So somebody please tell me. And I know this is probably about a year or so old. I happen to run across this on Roland S. Martin's channel. But please, because I haven't heard anything about this. Why wasn't this discussed and blown up? Oh, we got beat? And luckily for Shirley Ann Montgomery, it was caught on video. And we have that video. Take a look. Montgomery is joining me from Los Angeles for this Roland Martin Unfiltered Exclusive. I have so many comments on this. First and foremost, thank you so much for joining us, and I am so sorry you had to go through this. Yeah, me too. So, so the, the, first, the first point I wanted to bring up was, one, you're outside cutting the grass. You may have went in a little bit onto his property, potentially. Who complains about that? I mean, seriously, who complains about someone stepping on their grass? I mean, I, you know, uh, that's the first thing. And then to for it to escalate to the point where 
your neighbor's son threatened to murder you, called you racial slurs. I heard monkey being thrown out during that tirade. And, I, and, and so I'm just trying to find out, is this the first time this kind of incident has happened? And then tell me um, a little bit about how it got to the point where we saw the video where the son was coming out and threatening you. Well, um, this is the first time that particular incident happened and, and got to that point. Um, I've had amicable relations as far as communicating with the neighbor. Hi, how are you? Times where he was upset with the HOA and he wanted to uh, press charges against the HOA as far as filing a lawsuit and what have you. However, um, we have said hi off and on. And then the neighbor began to stop talking so I stopped talking and I said that this neighbor was not um, very sane to me in his mindset off and on communication. So I just eliminated all communications. So I was caught off guard by his behavior, actually. So why wasn't this covered? Why wasn't this in the news? Why wasn't this blown up? That this elderly black woman had her life threatened while she was cutting the grass because she stepped two steps too far onto someone else's property. Are you serious? I know why I wasn't covered. Watch this. Absolutely <laughs> understand the fear of that because again, you're just cutting your grass and you have someone running at you talking about they're going to murder you. Yeah, yeah. And then he turned around and he said to me that he didn't excuse the expression, give a shit. And so bam, shit. Silence hidden in trauma. I guess he got a whole lot of trauma going on. Hmm. Um, he didn't care. And after I got the police report, I learned that the officer, as far as I was concerned, was very biased. And he also was in the defense of um, the neighbor and his son based on me not responding intimidated by this particular neighbor and what he said. Now we have the police report right here and there's actually a line from the police report that I would like to read for our viewers. Um, we, do, we don't wanna show it to protect our um, interviewees' privacy. Um, but basically in the uh, police report it states that, quote, due to the lack of ability on the part of the subject to carry out his threat, no further action was taken. <laughs> so yeah. this individual can come outside threaten to murder you, call you racial slurs. And because he didn't act upon it, we're not we're not going to take any further action. How did you feel about that when you filed this report and the police were like, yeah, we're not going to do anything because he didn't do anything to you. So when the officer showed up, he told me that he had to talk to the neighbor as well, which I understood that I understood protocol. Then um, he also, another officer approached and began to talk to him. That officer did not talk to me. Um, that officer did not say to me, hey, calm down, it's okay, it's a misunderstanding or any of that. So when I went to pick up the police report that following Monday, because I'm real serious about a restraining order, I don't know who they are, I don't know the mindset, I was caught off guard. Um, and I saw the way he wrote that report, I was livid. I literally burst in tears. Um, I literally felt that um, even though this guy threw things out there, that what he said, there may be some truth to that as far as who he knew. Um, the other officer, he did not talk to me whatsoever. And I'm, I'm, I've got some concerns. Um, I really, really do. Um, I have a, I'm walking truthfully in faith because I have a lot of faith. Um, but I'm, I know that God is not causing us to be stupid either. I know for a fact that I'm protected um, because I truly, I truly believe that I'm protected because had not there been interference by his father, I really believe that that guy would have come and caused me some harm. And I shared that also with the police. And um, I spoke with a captain or whoever after the fact, and they're like, oh yeah, 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 we understand. Just keep your cameras, blah, blah, blah. Um, but. I have concerns. <laughs> well, thankfully, you had that camera footage because we also have the footage of the neighbor saying that it's illegal for you to record him. Yeah. But then you have the police sweet. saying, no, keep recording him. So you, you have any conflicting things going on. Had you not had that video, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So thankfully, probably, you had that as evidence. Yeah, pro probably not. Um, and, and again, um, the officers, because I was actually at the magistrate, 
office when this guy went and stood in front of the, the property line and started talking to my camera. And I immediately asked officers uh, if what I was doing was illegal. And they told me absolutely not. All he was trying to do was to intimidate me. And he's not going to intimidate me. I'm not moving. So here's the story, right? You have this elderly black lady by the name of Shirley Ann Montgomery. She decides on this beautiful, bright and sunny day, she's going to go outside and mow her lawn. While she's mowing her lawn, you have her neighbors next door who are watching her through the window, watching everything that she's doing. And the minute she steps an inkling of a step over what they consider their property line, they come outside to harass her. Not only do they harass her, but the son comes barging out the door and tells her that he will murder her. She has a camera. The camera is recording it all. She gets on the telephone. She calls the police. He knows the police, but she calls the police. The police show up and tell her they're not going to do anything because he did not follow up on his threat. Are you serious? This is what's wrong with our judicial system right now. Because if she would have had sons that would have come over there or brothers or relatives, it would have got wicked and then they would have been trying to lock them up for retaliation. But when you do what you're supposed to do and call the law, the law tells you there's nothing they can do. So until these individuals attempt to unalive me, there's nothing you're going to do to protect me but you're here to protect and serve? This rabid ass albino, distempered, rabies infested, raging damn bull came rushing at this damn woman full steam ahead. And if it wasn't for his father, he probably would have done something to her. And somehow you don't think his behavior warranted her protection? Are we kidding right now? Because according to them, she didn't behave like she was scared and she didn't behave like a victim. So she didn't deserve to be protected. So I'm probably gonna do more of these Hat Chronicles to cover these stories that seemingly are swept under the rug that really shouldn't be. So look out for them. How about you like and subscribe so you'll be notified when we jump into whichever location we jump into. If you've browsed through the channel, you'll know we have so much to offer. Thank you for tuning in to Fizz Feed Conversations Hat Chronicles. Until next time, see you soon.